should schedule your driving for the hours you are normally awake. What is or are the important reasons for doing a vehicle inspection? Both of the above, a vehicle defect that is found during inspection and corrected can prevent problems later and federal and state regulations require you to inspect your vehicle. Which of these items is not checked on a pre-trip inspection? The amount of fuel in the vehicle. When approaching a traffic light that has been green for a long time, you should Start to slow it down so you will be ready to stop. If you need to leave the road in a traffic emergency, you should Avoid braking until your speed has decreased to about 20 miles per hour. Is it safe to add coolant to a coolant recovery tank or coolant overflow tank while the engine is at operating temperature? Yes, as long as the engine isn't overheated. How can you test the parking brake? Set the parking brake and pull forward gently. Blocking the cargo to keep it from shifting must be done. only at the front of a piece of cargo. Signs of distracted drivers include drivers having conversations with passengers. Which of these is not part of the basic method for shifting up? Accelerating while pressing the clutch and turning towards the driver's side. The load means the following. The maximum safe weight a tire can carry at a specified pressure. A vehicle is loaded with the most of the weight on the steering axle. What may result? hard steering and possible breakdown. Heavy vehicles must sometimes travel more slowly than other traffic. Which of these is not a good rule to follow when you're driving such a vehicle? Signal other drivers when it is safe for them to pass you. Optional safety equipment may include emergency phone numbers, tire chains, and a tire changing equipment. To prevent brake fade, you should select a gear that will keep your vehicle at a safe speed on steep downgrades. If you must stop on a road or the shoulder of any road, you must put out your emergency warning devices within 10 minutes. Which of these is not required knowledge for drivers needing a hazmat endorsement? Basic chemistry. When a doctor prescribes medication for you and you know you will be driving, you should Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Name some suspension system defects. Both of the above leaking shock observers, 
and broken leaves in a leaf spring and a cracked or broken spring hanger. Which of these is not something you should do if your headlights are not working properly? Leave your high beams on. Loads that are over length, over width, and overweight may require both of the above, flashing lights and driving limited to certain times. Which of these tells you that cargo contains hazardous materials? Both of the answers are correct. A hazardous materials placard is on the vehicle and there is a 4 inch diamond shaped hazardous materials label on the container. When you check the condition of visible parts during a pre-trip inspection, make sure that the are secured against nagging, rubbing, or wearing. Airlines and electrical wiring. Truck escape ramps. Are designed to protect vehicles from damage. It's illegal to drive with one-fourth of a vehicle's leaf spring broken or missing? No. A major cause of fatal crashes is driving too fast for road conditions. Containerized loads are typically used for freight carried partway by rail or ship. What will help someone who is drunk sober up? Time. What is a common cause of tire fires? Underinflated tires. You're driving a heavy vehicle with a manual transmission. You must stop the vehicle on the shoulder while driving on an upgrade. Which of these is a good rule to follow when putting it back in motion? Use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. Which of these is a good rule to follow when driving at night? Keep your speed slow enough that you can stop within the range of your headlights. Stab braking. Involves locking the wheels. When driving a commercial vehicle with a height over 13 feet, you should If you aren't sure about the clearance, stop and make sure. On which fires can you use the ABC fire extinguisher? All the answers are correct. Electrical fires, burning fires, and burning cloth. Now, which of these statements about drugs is true? The use of drugs can lead to accidents and or arrest. Which of these is a good rule to follow when using a fire extinguisher? Aim at the base of the fire. Your brakes can get wet when you're driving through a heavy rain. What can this cause when the brakes are applied? Cold.
all of the answers are correct. Wheel lockup, trailer jackknife, and lack of braking power. No matter how small the cargo is, it should have at least two tie downs. What is counter steering? Turning the wheel in the opposite direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. If the engine is not overheated, is it completely safe to remove the radiator cap? No. In snow and ice, you should reduce your speed by one half. You're driving on a two-lane road. An oncoming driver drifts into your lane and is headed straight to you. Which of these is generally the best action? Steer to the right. There are three types of vehicle inspections. Which one is one of them? All the answers are correct. Pre-trip and route and post-trip. What do you do when your vehicle hydroplanes? Release the accelerator. The most common cause of serious vehicle skids is driving too fast for road conditions. Which of these statements is true about other drivers? Short-term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limited vision and pose a hazard. Cargo covers All answers are correct. Protect people from spilled cargo, protect cargo from weather, and may be required by law. Whenever you stop for a break during your trip, you should check critical items such as tires, brakes, and cargo tie downs. The safety release valve is located on the air tanks and is used by self-operated when the air pressure is above 150 psi and well guys thank you so much for watching this is the end of part one of the cdl practice questions for the cdl exam 2021 for part two make sure to check out our channel if you haven't subscribed make sure that you do so don't miss our videos thank you so much again and see you in the next one